Astronomy The study of space and celestial objects has been in practice for longer than documented history and remains a sought-after branch of science to this date. Since Nicholas Copernicus revolutionized the study in 1543, astronomy has evolved greatly and achieved monumental landmarks in the history of mankind. In an effort to further strengthen the field, China has constructed and opened doors to the world's largest planetarium. It is a spectacular building with unique architectural elements representing the sun, moon, and stars. Let's dive in to find out more about this mega construction. China has been a key player in the field of astronomy dating further than 5,000 years. The Chinese astrological calendar is recognized globally and it has played a part in China's history to determine the seasons that help Chinese farmers to plant and harvest crops. In the modern day, the country has completed seven space launches with the latest being in 2022. They also made plans to build and launch their own space stations. China is heavily invested into winning the global astronomy race, and the Shanghai Planetarium is both its way of making a statement to the world and simultaneously nurturing its young generation towards the study of astronomy. The Shanghai Planetarium, formerly known as the Shanghai Astronomy Museum, is located in the Lingang District, close to the Central Business District, and is a 45 minutes drive from downtown Shanghai. The planetarium is the second in China and is one of the biggest and most advanced planetariums in the world. Spanning out over 409,000 square feet, the site consists of the planetarium, exhibition galleries, an education and research center, an IMAX theater and an observatory fitted with a 78-foot solar telescope, making it the world's largest facility for astronomy studies. Fitted with state-of-the-art visual and interactive technology, the complex can host up to 6,000 guests daily. The architects of the project, ENIAD Architects, have stated that the museum is designed to celebrate the rich history attached to Chinese astrology, and also to showcase China's commitment and potential with ongoing space exploration programs. The project's construction began in 2016 and opened doors to the public in July 2021. The design of the museum was carried out by U.S.-based ENIAD architects, who were chosen for the project following their triumph at an architectural design competition held in 2014. They also designed the iconic Rose Center for Earth and Space Structure at the American Museum for Natural History in New York. The design of the complex draws inspiration from geometry of the universe and the energy movement of celestial bodies, along with the three-body problem, a perplexing study consisting of the moons, stars, and planets, and the calculation of its movements. The unique structure of the Shanghai Planetarium contains no right angles or straight lines, but rather utilizes overlapping arcs mimicking the orbits of objects in space. Multiple long stretches formed by the extensive curving lines and the large interiors of the museum are a visible feature in the proposed design. The suspension and scale of this building element confronts visitors with a near-celestial experience, as if witnessing a planetary body up close and personal. The overall design includes three main structural features taking the form of heavenly bodies, namely the oculus, the inverted dome, and the sphere. They represent an astronomical instrument of the sun, moon, and stars. This reflects on the conceptualization of the origin of time, and how the world we know today is shaped by the constant motion of combined forces. The use of the building to manipulate sunlight and demonstrate this most basic astronomical principle connects the modern museum with historic structures that act in similar ways, such as the Great Pyramids at Giza and the Mayan temples at Chichen Itza. The oculus is a prominent feature located above the museum's main entry area. It appears to be hanging from the cantilevered galleries and acts as a sundial for the building. The sunlight shining on the floor is reflected by the oculus to indicate the constant motion of time and season. The moon's movements are also studied during important Chinese festivals and holidays occurring in a lunar calendar. 
The large cantilever structure consists of a two-story, two-way truss with a span of 61 meters and a horizontal cantilever distance of 36 meters. More than 2,000 tons of steel was used in the construction of the cantilever structure. The inverted dome is located at the top of the central atrium, where all the galleries are arranged. Visitors to the planetarium have to pass through the multi-story atrium, which controls the circulation and is also designed with a spiraling ramp extending below the dome. The dome offers a spectacular and continuous view of the day and night sky. The view from the dome is focused up towards the celestial bodies and increases the effect of the planetarium's virtual star show. A glass entry walk forms the passage into the dome and is positioned towards the north. At noon every day, the sunlight illuminates the walkway, making it visible to the museum below. The third key construction is the sphere which houses the planetarium's theater. The architects carefully built this piece to let an uninterrupted flow of sunlight to act as a metaphor to the passage of time. The structure was also built with little to no suspension and support to give an illusion of weightlessness and hovering. The sphere gradually comes into view as one encircles it to impart the feeling of a moon orbiting a planet. The spherical structure is not only a reference to the primordial shapes of the universe, but also a reference to where we as humans stand in relativity to the sun, the moon, and other planets. Set within an expansive green zone, the museum grounds include a host of buildings and programming including temporary and permanent exhibits, a 78-foot solar telescope, an observatory, an optical planetarium, education and research center, and a digital sky theater. The planetarium will also incorporate the latest in digital projection technology, and exhibits will demonstrate the latest developments in astronomical research. Over 300 items are featured in the area with over 80% of them solely designed and put together by sculptors for the museum. More than half of these displays are interactive and the exhibition also integrates virtual reality units, ultra-high definition projectors and smart screens. One of these features in particular is the VR module in which one could move around the moon. The area also houses an array of meteorites. One highlighted piece is from the Shenxing that landed in 1964. This particular piece is coveted as it is the only meteorite to land on the surface of China. The planetarium also features parts of meteorite from Mars, along with a moon soil sample which was retrieved by Chang'e 5's lunar mission in 2020 and was given to the planetarium at its opening ceremony. The Shanghai Astronomy Museum is critically acclaimed across many industries. The unconventional but metaphoric design concepts, the futuristic use of technology and the collection of valuable exhibits have garnered international attention. This project has managed to break the delimitation of space study being confined to textbooks and internet videos and instead allows the visitors to walk away with a near lifelike experience of what it is like in space. Not only will this construction stand out as an inspiring megaproject, but also as a monument of learning and contributing to a field of study that has shaped both the world and humankind for millennia. The museum stands out as a mark of China's technological and geopolitical prowess, and also puts out a statement to the world on their footing and headway in the space race. What do you think of this mega construction? Have you visited this planetarium? Share your experience in the comments section. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.